Dixon and my daughter, Dr. Sarah Knox. Amen. And we want to welcome you to another midweek Agape Love Bible study. Thank you, Lord. We thank God for our Agape Love family. Amen. Thank God for our Agape Amen. Love alumni. Praise thank God. God for my own family, mm -hmm. my brothers and sisters in the Lord, saints yeah. of the Most High God. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and bless you. Hallelujah. Well, let's go right to the throne of grace. Got Praise a lot to God. cover tonight. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I believe it's going to be a blessing. Because we're living in perilous times, and so we need the word like never before. Is that Amen. right, saints? Amen. 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 And it's a blessing to be prepared. Yes, so, please. Almighty and Eternal God, we come before you in the righteous yes, name of Jesus. Jesus. Yes, Lord. For you indeed are the Christ of the living God, and we praise you, praise our Lord Jesus. and our Savior. Yes, Father God. Help us. Thank Show God. us the path of life. Yes. Lead us in the way everlasting. Oh, yes, God. Prepare us, Prepare instruct us. us Guide us, Guide direct us, us, give us the wisdom we need in yes, the hour God. that we're living in. Hallelujah. Because, Lord, we're living in perilous times, peculiar times. But we know that you're able to do exceedingly and abundantly above that which we could ask or think. According, according to the power that's at yes, work. God. And you will direct our steps. Yes, Father. You set the path of the justice as a shining light, shining more and more into the perfect day. Be with us, O oh God, Be with us, our God. Lord, yes, our Lord. Savior. Yes, help God. us along Help the us, way. Lead us and guide us. Help us to get our families in the ark of safety. Yes, God. Help God. us to get our, our finances together. Help us yes, to get God. our mind together. Yes, Lord. Our thought life together. Hallelujah. Lord, yes, Lord, all of that pertains to our family. Our, oh, everything that pertains to our ministry. Jesus. Whatever Hallelujah. needs to be prepared and to be oh, fixed. Yes, help God. us, Lord. Help us, Lord God. And we give you glory. Look on the fivefold ministry Look all over the God. world. Yes, Lord. Look on pastors all over. Look on Look the apostles on and prophets, evangelists, mm -hmm. teachers, and Christian laborers and yes, workers. Yes, as we endeavor to do your work, the kingdom, the work of the kingdom. Yes, Father God. And give us a fresh anointing. Fresh anointing. A fresh move of your spirit yes, upon the churches, so oh yes, God. God. And we'll give you the glory, Come all honor, and praise is thine. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. Somebody shout glory. Glory. All God. right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> amen, amen. Praise is always calmly for yeah, the God. saints. Yeah, God. You know, saints, I want to do a character study, and I want to use Noah just oh, to get man. started. Good. Good. You know, Good. the ark that Noah, that Jesus. God provided Thank for God. Noah and his family mm -hmm. was a type and Thank shadow you, of the ark of salvation that we have in our court. Yes, Lord and God. Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. So let's go to the book of Genesis, the sixth chapter. And we're going to start here, but then we're going to okay. move on. Genesis 6. Yeah. Right. Uh, Genesis, the sixth chapter. Mm -hmm. And we're going to move on. Can you move that a little bit over to the right or to the left? That way? That way. To the left. This way? Uh huh. Okay. So, oh, I guess it's the other way around. Yeah. 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 Push it back this way there. Yeah, to the right. Okay. Just want to make sure that I see, okay. Okay. see you a little bit better. Okay. okay. Genesis, the sixth chapter. Amen. Noah was considered a righteous man. He had not been, his seed, his human seed, had not been contaminated by the fall of the Nephilim, the giants that were in the land, who had corrupted the human genome. So Noah, it's not that he was perfect as far as maybe his conduct or thought life, but he was perfect because he had not yet been contaminated or corrupted with the seed mm -hmm. of the Nephilim, mm -hmm. the giants that came in, came down to earth, and we know what happened. The giants bred, um, went into the daughters of men and came up with this mutant race mm -hmm. of hybrids. Yes, and we knew that there is salvation and no other but the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. And so Satan's strategy mm -hmm. was, if I can defile and corrupt the seed, then salvation will not come to the human race. And so the human genome yes, must God. stay pure. Amen. But we know Satan's uh, strategy, but God was not ignorant of it. Mm -hmm. And he had a plan. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And so uh, I'm going to ask him to welcome my daughter, Dr. Sarah Knox. And and you, again, Jesus. alumni all Amen. over. Thank God for you and saints and friends Amen. and our Godly love family. Amen. Let's turn to the sixth chapter. Hopefully you have your highlighter. Amen in your Bible. Amen. And, your, Amen. and let's get Amen. let's Amen. get started. All right. And we're gonna start in Genesis, the sixth chapter. Mm -hmm. Let's read the first from the first verse on down. And um and then well at least to the eighth or ninth verse. Sure. 
Okay, Genesis 6, uh, reading from the King James. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, they bare children to them. The same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. And God saw that the wickedness of man uh -huh. was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing, and the fowls of the air, for it repented me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations. And Noah walked with God. And so Noah walked with God. Mm -hmm. Part, now, now I want you saints to understand what was going on with mankind. Mm -hmm. Because again, the giants that came down, they went into the daughters of men. They created a mutant or hybrid race of people. Mm -hmm. These did not have the DNA of Adam. They had the DNA of these Nephilim. Mm -hmm. Because of that, their wickedness of these rebellious, disobedient mm -hmm. angels right, right. had created the Nephilim, mm -hmm. the fallen ones. Mm -hmm. And therefore, God had a plan. Mm -hmm. I got to get rid of mankind because this is not going to work mm -hmm. in the plan of salvation. Right. And so what did the Lord do? He prepared a flood. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Anything that God is about to do when it comes to his children, mm -hmm. he will always make sure that you got a heads up. Amen. Is that good to know? Good. That's why God has prophets and yes, preachers and yes. the fivefold. Because when mm -hmm. he's getting ready to prepare, amen, and to do something that right, will affect right, mankind, right. Mm -hmm. amen, he gave Noah a plan. Is that yes, right, Dr. Knox? That's certainly true. Amen. He gave him a plan. He's a man with a plan. Amen. Even though it took over a hundred Amen. Years. That's right. <laughs> And it said that Amen. Noah walked with God. Yes. Amen. 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 But the look what read that uh, tenth and eleventh verse. All right. It says, And Noah begat three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And the earth was also corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt. For all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And what did God say? Mm -hmm. He repented. That 13 verse. Oh, sure. Okay. 13 says, And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence throw through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. I will destroy them with the earth. Mm -hmm. My Lord. So God mm -hmm. said, Okay, this is mm -hmm. uh, has reached this level right, of right. wickedness. And you know, when the cup of iniquity is filled, just like mm -hmm. when when God said the Canaanites, mm -hmm. uh, when their cup is filled, mm -hmm. when Egypt's cup was filled, mm -hmm. anytime a nation or a people continue to do wickedness, mm -hmm. there is a stopping point. Right. God has a time of judgment. Now, he's a merciful God. Yes. He's a loving God. Yes. And that's why it's his will for all to be saved mm -hmm. and none to come short of the glory of God. Yes, but God. now here mm -hmm. in this Genesis uh story, mm -hmm. narrative of yeah. Noah yeah. and the ark. It gives us an example, it leaves behind, mm -hmm. amen, a narrative with us. Mm -hmm. God always wants mankind to remember. Yes. Remember he put a bow in the sky yes, after that. He did. But before then, Thank before you, the bow came, mm -hmm. judgment had came upon all the earth because mm -hmm. again, the earth had corrupted themselves. Mm -hmm. Violence filled the earth. Mm -hmm. And when we look at our cities mm -hmm. in America, when we look at the violence all over the world, mm -hmm. when we look at wars and rumors of wars, all of the different things that happen, it, yes. it, it lets us know mm -hmm. that the time is coming close to an end. Amen. So read that 14 verse. 14, and it <laughs> reads, Make thee an ark of gopher wood. Rooms shalt thou make in the ark, and shall pitch it within and, thou, and without with pitch. And this is the fashion which thou shalt make it of. The length of the ark shall be 300 cubits, the breadth of it 50 cubits, and the height of it 30 cubits. A window shalt thou make to the ark, 
and in a cubit thou shalt finish it above, and the door of the ark shalt thou set in the side thereof, with lower, second, and third stories shalt thou make it. Now, what was God doing? He was giving uh, Noah the design, Arch the instruction. Architectural design. The architectural design, that's right. <laughs> Amen. And not only that, I believe that God gave mm -hmm. him and his sons the skill mm -hmm. to do it. Yeah. So God will give us everything that when he's about to prepare something, yeah. amen, whether it's a family, whether it's a business, whether it's a ministry, mm -hmm. know that God is a methodical God. Hallelujah. But yes, after is. that, yes, the 17th is. verse, let's, mm -hmm. what is God's, what was his M.O.? Mm -hmm. What did he say in that 17th verse? 17 reads, and behold, I, even I, do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh wherein is the breath of life from under heaven. And everything that is in the earth shall die. So what was he saying? This is my purpose for the ark. Everything that God builds, everything that God prepares us for has a divine purpose. Mm -hmm. And so uh, just, you know, we're not going to stay here very much longer. I just wanted <clears throat> to use this as an example of how God wants us to use wisdom. There's a wisdom and uh -huh. preparation. Because guess what? We are in the last of the last days. You better preach And it. Jesus said it's yes. going to be as the days of Noah, of Noah and the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. And so Noah heard what God said yes. concerning the living, the animals, mm -hmm. uh, two by two and mm -hmm. fowls after every. Read 20 and tw the 20 to 22, and then we're going to go on. 20 and 22. Start from 20? Uh-huh. All right. And 20 says, of fowls after their kind and of cattle after their kind. Of every creeping thing of the earth after his kind, two of every sort shall come unto thee to keep them alive. To keep them alive. Preparation will always preserve life. Say that with me. Preparation, Preparation will always preserve, preserve life. Preserve life. Uh -huh. And take thou unto thee of all food that is eaten, and thou shalt gather it to thee, and it shall be for food for thee and for them. Thus did Noah, according to all that God commanded him, so did he. Now, we were talking about <laughs> uh, inflation the other day, Saints, oh. and how food prices have, have risen, uh, everything that, that we call, we, that we normally use mm -hmm. when we make out our grace, grocery list. Mm -hmm. So I want to just encourage you. Um, I believe the Lord gave me this word, this rhema word. Be prepared. Yeah. Now, if you knew that the grocery stores, regardless of what store you go right, to, right, was right. about to run out of food or mm -hmm. a food shortage was about to happen in yes. the next six months, uh -huh. what would your cabinets be filled with? Well, what were we talking about, Sarah? Some of the things that we well, would... Well, non-perishables. We were talking about canned goods. And such as what, what kind of canned goods? Well, tuna, uh -huh. um, mackerel, uh -huh. those type of fish, tuna. and then you have... Also, Set. salmon. Some people like the pork kind. I don't know. Okay, so fish, tuna, mackerel. And then you have also chicken of the sea. Okay, sardines. Beans, sardines. Oh, definitely. That I would be your protein. And then we have the beans. Beans so, and grains. And grains. Uh huh. But grains have to be, I don't know if they have those in cans. But, but they have those in packages. But they have them in packages in cans. But they're non-perishable. Canned can, can, can goods are the best non-perishables, I think. Okay, mm -hmm. so we have... So, mm -hmm. if you were to feed your family. And water. Lots and, uh, lots, and lots, and lots of water, of water. to stay hydrated. And, and saints, why am I saying this? Because I really believe that the Lord put on my heart to tell y'all, start stocking up. Mm -hmm. Wisdom reminds us mm -hmm. in the word of God that if a man sees the trouble coming, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he will hide himself or he'll prepare. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a scripture in Proverbs. Mm -hmm. Let's run over there for a minute. Mm -hmm. And then we'll come back uh, right. to Genesis. But in Proverbs, it, there's a word for us concerning the counsel that God wants to give to his children. So look at Proverbs 16, and let's read 1 through 7. Uh, so if you like navy beans, if you like black, right, uh, right. Uh, you know, my mom used to always make great northern pinto beans. Make sure you get a lot of dry goods, such as mm -hmm. your grains, your uh, your oatmeal, your, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Because I, I sense prophetically mm -hmm. that the Lord mm -hmm. knows, amen, that something is coming. And he's warning us. Proverbs 22 and 3 says, A prudent man foreseeth the evil, mm -hmm. hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are promised. Right. And then in Proverbs 16, 
1 through 7. Can you get that for me? Proverbs, Proverbs 16, 16 1 through Amen. 7. Amen. Sure. And we're going to hop around right. just a little bit. 16, 1 through 7? Uh-huh. It says, The preparations of the heart in man, and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. All the ways of man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weigheth the spirits. Third verse. Three also. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. And so God wants us, amen, to remember the preparation of the heart in man, and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. So God prepares the heart. He prepared Noah's ark. Yeah. Not only the ark, but the ark, but his heart. Yeah. So that he would be obedient and be able to save his family. So run, let's run back over to Genesis 7, and then we're going to move forward. Right. Genesis 7, after the ark was prepared, mm -hmm. Guess what? God then reminds Noah what his divine mm -hmm. commission right. and his divine, mm -hmm. uh, the thing that God has for you to do is a divine thing. Yes. He had a divine charge mm -hmm. and he reminds him in Genesis, mm -hmm. the se just 7 and 1, mm -hmm. and then we're going to go to the New Testament. All right. okay. 7 and 1 reads, uh -huh. And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou and all the, thy house into the ark. For thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. See, faith always uh, is credited to mm -hmm. righteousness. Just like Abraham obeyed God, believed God, and was accounted to him for righteousness. Uh, Noah had not been contaminated. His, his uh, DNA was still that of Adam and not of the Nephilim. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right, so in Proverbs, the 20th chapter, we can go there for a minute, Proverbs 20, 20 and 18, and then right. we'll go on to the New Testament. Okay. Mm -hmm. So preparation, saints of God. Mm -hmm. Let's let's prepare, prepare your savings account, prepare cash, prepare dry goods, canned goods like I like salmon cash and mackerel. Keep cash on hand. I know the piggy know, bank and, and, yeah, this, and lots of change. Yeah, Amen. Because right. like listen, time. that's right. Because we don't know. <laughs> and that's another thing. A lot of people are going into this crypto stuff and yeah. this um, digital money. Right now. So, pray yeah, about. Pray about that. <laughs> so, pray about, pray that. about that before you do Ooh, anything good like. Lord. Uh, mm -hmm. And and just make sure mm -hmm. that your household yeah, God. is ready. Yes, Be prepared Lord. because saints things can change mm -hmm. overnight. We can yes, go to bed God. one night mm -hmm. and 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 then wake up the next day and it's a whole different ball game. Right, so right. you want to be prepared. Mm -hmm. And if even if the if the supply chain. Uh, stops and the stores can't get their food mm -hmm. you make sure you have right. and don't just have it for you your four and no more mm -hmm. but stock up stock up as much as you can amen yeah. so yeah. let's go to proverbs 20 and 18 and it says 18 reason says every purpose is established by counsel and with good advice make war amen mm -hmm. every established mm -hmm. every mm -hmm. everything Every purpose is established by counsel. Yeah. Don't even make war without counsel. Yeah. Don't, you know, listen, the enemy comes to kill, still and destroy. Mm -hmm. We're in a warfare. Mm -hmm. We might say, well, Dr. Dixon, ain't nothing happening mm -hmm. militarily. Mm -hmm. But guess what? If you belong to God, you are a soldier. Yeah. And you are in the army Hallelujah. of the Lord. Yes, yeah. we are. Yes, you are, are in the army. So get Glory suited and booted. Amen. Put on the full armor of God. Full armor of God. Amen. From mm -hmm. head to toe, mm -hmm. from the helmet of salvation yes. to the souls of our feet. Amen. Your yes. feet shod with the preparation of the gospel, gospel of peace. peace. Keep the sword of the spirit. The word of God. Amen. And the shield the of faith. Breastplate of righteousness. Amen. Hallelujah. Get your loins girded up with truth. Truth. So, amen. amen. So <laughs> we can, uh, amen. So it's important that we are prepared. Well, okay. let's go to the book of Mark. All right. And we'll see how uh, in the New Testament mm -hmm. preparation, there is wisdom in preparation. Yeah. You know, you wouldn't take a trip without preparation. Amen. Is that right? Amen. You're going to call the hotel. Mm -hmm. You're going to call, make sure your transportation. Mm -hmm. If you're taking an airline, and even if you call it, if you're going to drive, you call AAA. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to make sure that your credit cards are in the way that you want them to be before you take that trip. Right. You want to make sure that the house is taken care of before right, you leave. Right, right. So we make preparation all Amen. the time. But listen, the eternal things of our soul, we must be prepared for that too. Amen. But in the physical body, mm -hmm. this woman did something that all of us should take a dose of. Go to Mark 5, and we're going to start at 25. Five, and let's read about this woman who made plans. All right. Amen. For Mark, let's start the 25th verse. 25. Mm -hmm. and, and, okay, a certain woman. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years and had suffered many things of many physicians 
and had spent all that she had and was nothing better but rather grew worse when she had heard of jesus came in the press behind and touched his garment for she said if i may touch but his clothes i shall be whole and straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague my my and jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him turned him about and in past in the press and said who touched my clothes and his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude throng of thee, and sayest thou, Who touched me? And he looked around about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing that what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all that all the truth. My mind. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace, and behold of thy plague. So she, <clears throat> now, she was prepared. Now check this out. She had heard about Jesus. Mm -hmm. Faith coming by what? Hearing. And hearing by the word of God. And faith yeah. is voice activated. Yeah. So what did she do? She activated her body. Activated now remember, this woman was pretty much weak from the loss of blood. Yeah. She had this issue 12 years. So yeah. she was probably very anemic. Probably had low blood sugar. Probably had a low uh, B12 deficiency because mm -hmm. I understand that, that mm -hmm. you know you don't have a lot of energy. Yeah, yeah. Amen. And but she had a plan. She prepared herself. Yeah. I believe that morning she woke Hallelujah. up. Hallelujah. Got herself dressed, Hallelujah. and but she spoke to herself, mm -hmm. and she said, "Now this is what I'm going to do." So she was prepared for her healing. You know, Thank healing you, takes place first. In the heart, in yes, the spirit. Yes. I believe when God healed me from Guillain Barre and, and even the cancer diagnosis, yes. I believe that healing took place in my heart yes, and my spirit before yes. it manifested in my physical body. Yes, yes. Lord. So she says, mm -hmm. I will be made whole. I Did you hear I shall that? Be she made said, whole. I will. I will. Now, now look what she says. Let's read that again. Mm -hmm. uh, read that again in that. Uh, when she, uh, what that version? What verse? version? Uh -huh. like different she, version yeah. No, no, read that in the King James. King James. Uh -huh. Okay, what verse? That 28 verse. 28 reads, For she said, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And streaming, the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And so here, this woman mm -hmm. connected her faith mm -hmm. with the source of her healing. Yeah. Did you hear what I said? She connected her faith with the source of her healing, which was Christ. She said, I, all I gotta do, he ain't even gotta lay hands on me. All I gotta do is just touch the hem of his garment. Yeah. All I have to do is touch his clothes yeah. and I will be healed of this plague. Yeah. So she settled it. Uh -huh. And like I always say, the Lord gave that revelation to me uh, some time ago. Mm -hmm. You First you settle it here. Mm -hmm. Like I said, healing begins in the heart yeah. and in the spirit. Yeah. Amen. So mm -hmm. she already made up her mind all I got to do is this. She's yeah. going to activate. She got up. She mm -hmm. woke up. She got dressed. She got into the press. Mm -hmm. And she said, now this is what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. And once I do that, I'm going to receive it. And God. Jesus said immediately mm -hmm. he knew the virtue. Mm -hmm. She came in contact yes. with that virtue. Amen. Her faith. Touch. Made her whole. Made her whole. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I too and that's whole. That it. That's I too right. Come on, give me a high five. Amen. 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 Healing. He's healing. Healing in our finances. Amen. Healing in our body. Healing in our mind. Healing in our, mind. Healing in our ministry. Healing, healing, healing in our wherever soul. you need whatever healing. Need. I yes, want you to God. use your faith. Amen. 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 And say, yes, yes. Amen. I'm using my faith. Amen. And I'm going to touch him. Amen. And I'm going to be made whole. Amen. Well, let's go to St. John 14 and 1. And we're still talking about saints. Uh the wisdom of preparation. So she prepared. And what? what she prepared, she received. Amen. I'm going to say it again. But there was some oh, action God. that she had to take. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes, mm -hmm. you know, faith without works is dead. Amen. So mm -hmm. when you believe in God for something, amen, mm -hmm. make sure that you pre fully prepare. Prepare first in your heart and in your mind. Amen. Faith must be two places, mm -hmm. in your heart and in your mouth. If you believe in your heart, mm -hmm. if you confess the Lord mm -hmm. Jesus. Amen. Thou shalt be saved. If you believe in your heart, confess with your mouth. Believe in your heart, confess with your mouth. Amen. Believe in your heart, confess with your mouth. In your ears. See, amen. So you hear because faith comes by hearing. Yes. But you let it download into your heart. Yes. Out of the abundance of the heart, the, the mouth, mouth will speak. speak. Amen. 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 So Jesus is preparing a place for us. Yes. And heaven is a prepared place for a prepared amen. people. Amen. Amen. So let's read St. John 14 and start at the first verse. All right. And how far? To and read all the way, I would say, to the 
let's read to the yes let's read to the a first all right and, and at the first verse let not your heart be troubled ye believe in god believe also in me in my father's house are many mansions if it were not so, I would have told you. My, my. I go to prepare a place for you. Say that again. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest. How can we know the my, way? My, my, my. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him and have seen him. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? Mm. He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, Show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and My the Lord. Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father the that Father. dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the, the very, very works. works' sake. Now listen. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Settle it. I love God. I love Settle God. it. Yes, yes, yes. Settle it. Mm -hmm. If you settle it, Yes. Then you'll yes, yes, believe yes, it, yes, yes. you'll say it, mm -hmm. and you'll see it. Yes, God. That's what he was saying. He said, now, it. he's still struggling. So Thomas said, how, how do we know the way? And Jesus said, I'm going away to prepare a place for you. Mm -hmm. And that's like asking somebody that has lived in the city a long time. Well, how do I know that uh, downtown, mm -hmm. you can get to downtown taking... Uh, 43 all the way to get off on uh, Wisconsin Avenue. That's like saying, listen, once mm -hmm. you settle it, yes, yes, the yes. Lord said, I've gone away to prepare mm -hmm. a preparation. Yes. That means God's know your location mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and he knows where he's taking you. Mm -hmm. So he knows what, what frame of mind you're in. He knows where he can find you. Mm -hmm. God, one thing I love about the Lord, I don't care if I'm on the freeway, mm -hmm. I don't care if I'm in my home, yeah. I'm at the store, at church, wherever I am, I feel his presence. Yes. yes Has he God. ever talked yes, to you God. when you was in the car and you're God. on your way somewhere? Hallelujah. Well, the Lord always knows Hallelujah. where you are. Yes, and yes, guess what? God. He'll meet you where you are. Hallelujah. And so Hallelujah. Thomas is a little doubtful, or Philip rather, mm -hmm. a little doubtful here, and he said, Lord, show us the Father. And it will suffice. As Jesus said, you've been so long time and you ain't recognized the Father in me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. See, so settle it mm -hmm. that, that the Father sent the Son, and the Son is in the Father, yeah. and the Father is in the Son. Amen. And that he's going to take you because he went to where he's going to be. Because in St. John, the 17th chapter, he said, Father, I desire them to be with me. Mm -hmm. So heaven is a prepared place. For prepared Amen. people. For prepared people. Yeah. So get prepared, saints. Hallelujah. You know the rapture is going to take place Amen. soon. Some people don't believe it. That's okay. Mm -hmm. You settle it in your heart. Yes. Amen. Amen. Well, let's Amen. go on to Ephesians, the fifth chapter. All right. Ephesians. Ephesians, the fifth chapter. Amen. Amen. Because not only do we prepare for this time, okay. we redeem the time. Yeah. Is that right? Right, right, right. Not only do we prepare for this time, yes, Lord. but we redeem the time. Consider everything that's going on saints mm -hmm. consider amen what you hear it on the news i know we don't need to get in, inundated with mm -hmm. everything but listen listen god is going to navigate us through these perilous times mm -hmm. and remember we're the children of the light amen, amen. but amen. we're living in a very dark time but we're children of the light and god has prepared a place for us and god is coming back amen. for us Hallelujah. and he wants you to redeem the time so that you won't be caught unaware amen. so ephesians 5 16 uh, so look, look at, look, I'll tell you what, read 14 all the way to the uh, 19 verse. 14, can I read the Amplified or you want King go, James? Go ahead, Amplified is fine. Okay, 5 and 19. Amen. Amen. Okay, 5 and 19. Ephesians reads, 5 and starting. Speak. Okay, the speak 14, at verse? 14. 14 okay. verse. Uh -huh. Okay, therefore he says, awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall shine, make day dawn upon you and give you light. Look carefully then how you walk. Live purposefully and worthily and accurately, not as the unwise and witness, 
and whistle, excuse me, but as wise, as sensible, wise. intelligent people. Yes. Making the very most of the time, buying up each opportunity because the days are evil. Redeem that time, y'all. Go ahead. Therefore, do not be vague and thoughtless of and foolish, but understanding and firmly grasping what the will of the Lord is. And do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery. Mm -hmm. But every but but ever be filled and stimulated with the Holy Spirit. Stay filled. Uh -huh. <laughs> Speak out to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, offering praise with voices and instruments, and making melody with your heart to the Lord. Amen. So stay. Yeah. You know, I love to sing. Hallelujah. And many times when I'm, yeah, I, yeah. I don't have to have a B3 organ. I don't have to have a piano or even a violin. I can make melody to the Lord with my voice. Yeah. Holy Spirit loves mm -hmm. worship and singing. Yeah. And so when you, when you spend your time, amen, and giving God time for worship, redeeming the time. Yes. Amen. Yes. Keeping yourself filled. Mm -hmm. Amen. God knows amen. you're ready. Because he's preparing you. Yes, he Amen. is. Amen. He's coming back, saints, for a church without amen. spot, wrinkle, or blemish. Amen. Or any such thing. So it says, amen, see that you walk circumspectly, not mm -hmm. as fools. Mm -hmm. Amen. But as wise, mm -hmm. wisdom of preparation, yes. redeeming the time, make the best use of it. Mm -hmm. Amen. And be faithful unto God. Yes. Bless his righteous name. Yes. Give him his glory to God. Say this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and bless him. Hallelujah. Come bless on and you, praise Jesus. him. Hallelujah. Bless you now. Bless Hallelujah. You now. Hallelujah. Bless you now. Bless God in heaven is a praise. Yes, of his God. God. I give you praise. Lord. So give him praise Hallelujah. with thanksgiving Hallelujah. every day. Yes, Lord. Every day worship him. Every, every day praise Hallelujah. him. Hallelujah. Every day bless Hallelujah. him. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you're redeeming the time. Mm -hmm. Knowing that the days are well, yes, we're almost done. done. Yes, so let's go done. to the book of Hebrews. All right. Amen. Amen. The eleventh chapter. Right. It's so essential Hallelujah. that we understand that mm -hmm. the Lord is on his way back. Amen. Amen. That ark that Noah, that God gave Noah, was symbolic and type and shadow of salvation in our ark of safety, Christ Jesus. He is Hallelujah. our ark Hallelujah. of safety. Hallelujah. He came to save us from our sin. He came to heal, yes, deliver, he and set free. Yes, he and he wants you to get your family Hallelujah, in that ark of safety. Yes. Is that right? Amen, amen. Amen. And so in Hebrews 11 chapter, let's uh, read the seventh verse. All right, seven says in King James, by faith, and I love the hall of faith, amen. Uh -huh. By faith, being warned of God of things not seen as yet, move with fear, prepared, an ark of the saving of this Who house. Did, but you missed the name. Noah. Okay, so read again. I'm sorry. By faith, Noah. That's right. Being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house. Mm -hmm. By the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. See, so faith, amen, is the currency mm -hmm. of the kingdom. Amen, amen. Faith is the currency of the kingdom. Faith connects you with God's will and purpose. And we're saved by grace through faith. It's the gift of God, not of works as any man should boast. And so our faith is a divine connection. It's the glue that keeps us together. Go Can ahead. Everybody, what's that? Mm. Okay, it says, prompted by faith, uh -huh. Noah being forewarned by God concerning events of which as yet there was no visible sign. No visible sign. Took heed and diligently and reverently constructed and prepared an ark of, for the deliverance of his own family. By this, his faith, which relied on God, he passed judgment and sentence on the world's unbelief and became an heir and possessor of righteousness. That relation of being right into which God puts the person who has faith. That's right. And he did the same for Abraham. Yes. So let's read on down to uh, to the eighth verse and read on down to the sixteenth. Well, just start at the we'll read from eight to twelve and then we'll oh, stop. Oh, reread eight. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, eight through. Okay, down. Read King James or Amplified. We can read King King James right now. Oh, sure, sure. Nine says. Oh, read. Oh, start at eight. I'm sorry. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out not knowing whether he went. By faith, he sojourned in the land of promise as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob and the, the heirs 
with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which had foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Look, look what it said. He looked for a city. Mm -hmm. So Abraham's heart was prepared, yeah. and his sons with him, uh -huh. and he looked for. Now, now see, that's faith. Mm -hmm. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things yeah. not seen. But by faith, mm -hmm. and remember, faith was counted unto uh, Abraham for righteousness because yes. like Noah, mm -hmm. he moved, mm -hmm. amen, he not only heard the word, heard God's voice, but he was moved by it, yes. prompted like Noah was, uh -huh. and did what God called him to do. Yes. So read that ninth verse again. Nine, ten, and ten. By faith, he sojourned in the land of promise as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob. The heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which had foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Are you looking for that city? You know, there was a song back, I think, in the 60s or 70s, when we go sweeping through that city. And we'll, go sweeping. we'll go sweeping through. My sister Tricia, she loves that song. My sister Pat. Amen. And I won't come back. I won't come back. I won't come back no more. Amen. When we go sweeping through that city. So he's looking for a city. Amen. And, and it doesn't, it's not going to be like any of the cities on this earth. Amen, amen. But it's a glorious city. Hallelujah. And it's going to come down from heaven. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, yes, The new yes. Jerusalem. So he looked for a city oh, which had foundations, oh, whose builder oh, and maker oh, were God. Okay, so let's yes, go on here. God. And let's yes, go over God. here to uh, the uh, 14th verse. All right, 14. And read all the way down mm -hmm. to the 19th verse. 14 reads, for they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. Oh, let me underline that. And they mm -hmm. plainly that they seek a country. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had opportunity to have turned return. My mind. But now they desire a better country. A, that, a what? A better country. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Country. There's a better God has Hallelujah. a better, better promise better, for better. Better. Yeah, amen. So, Somebody say better. Better, 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 better. Come on, say it again. Better. I want better, oh, better, better, I want better, better. better. God has something better for you. <laughs> go, go ahead. Uh -huh. Amen. But now they desire a better country that is and heavenly. A meaning of the country is heavenly. Amen. Wherefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for He hath prepared for them a city. He has done what? Prepared for them a city. <laughs> prepared again. Jesus Hallelujah. said, "I've gone to prepare a place for yeah. you." Jesus always lets us know. He gives us a head up. Redeem the time. I'm coming. Yeah. I'm coming. I've got a, I got a, a prepared place for you because we are prepared people. I got Go my ahead. Hand Go ahead. Uh -huh. Teacher, I got my hand raised. <laughs> uh -huh. See, it's part of love. It says, and God, in that 16th verse, God is not ashamed to be called their God. Uh-huh. Because some people are ashamed to call him God. Oh, I love him. I love Come him. On. Is he your God? You know, we just walk down the street. We just say, praise the Lord. We see saints. A block away. Praise the Lord, Sister Bertha. Praise the Lord, Sister Sarah. Mm -hmm. You say praise the Lord now, they won't respond. <laughs> a lot of people don't, they act like they're ashamed of him. But I'm not yes. ashamed. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus oh, Christ. Wow. That is the power of God and the yes, salvation. Yes. So read it again in Amen. that 16th verse. Amen. But now they desire a better country, that is, and heavenly, wherefore God is not ashamed to be called their God. For he hath prepared for them a city. Well, you, you want to read it in the Amplified now? Yes, I do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Because you know, I thought about if you don't if you don't own God here on earth, he won't own you in heaven. Mm -hmm. Amen. And let me make sure I'm in the right context because I'm in Hebrews 11 and 16. Uh -huh. All right. And here we go. It's so it says, important. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. It says, but the truth is that they were yearning for and aspiring to a better and more desirable country. My, my. That is a heavenly one. For that reason, God is not ashamed to be called their God, even to be surnamed my, my. their God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. For he was, I mean, he has, excuse me, prepared a city for them. So God Hallelujah. has prepared Hallelujah. a city. Ooh, Amen glory for God. them. Yes, and yes, and yes. even when you read the roll call of faith, everything yes. that happened, yes, <clears throat> yes, excuse yes, me, yes, yes. every time God mm -hmm. moved, Mm -hmm. They were <clears throat> there was a preparation. Yes, yes. All right. So um let's look at Hebrews twelve right. and read one and two. One and two reads Wherefore seeing also we wherefore seeing also are 
wait, thank you. Wherefore seeing, wherefore seeing, we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and sin that which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race mm. that is set before us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why? Jesus. Because God has a prepared place. Yes, he does. And look at the second verse and read that too. The <laughs> so verse. people understand. All right. God has a prepared place for you. All right. and Amen. So lay aside verse. everything that gets Amen. in the way. Two says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that mm. was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. So God has a not mm -hmm. only so he, he's our alpha and he's our omega. Yeah. He's the beginning. He's the author and yes. the finisher of your faith. And he wants you to lay aside every weight looking on mm -hmm. and sin. Yes. Looking unto Jesus who is what? The author and, and the finisher. finisher of he faith. so to stay prepared, Ooh. we have to keep our eyes on the Lord. You want to share something else? Yes, okay, yes, go ahead. Six, in uh, in uh, Amplified for the twelve and one reads of Hebrews. Therefore, si therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, who have borne testimony to the truth, let us strip off and throw aside every encumbrance, unnecessary weight, and that sin which does which so readily deftly, mm. cleverly clings to my, and my. entangles us. And let us run with patience, endurance, and steadily and activate activate active persistence That's and active right. persistence the appointed course of the race that is set before us. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to find whether we're going to have that supper with the Lord. Oh, And gosh. you know, when you think about the feast mm -hmm. Uh, that 19. God, yeah, let's let's go there Revelations. because I, I want you to consider this. Hallelujah. If the Lord is going to prepare mm -hmm. uh, a feast for us, yeah. Well, you know, if you got people coming over and say mm -hmm. you're getting ready to have uh, people over for dinner, what do you do? You make sure that you have all the fixings. Mm -hmm. Say you're going to have a barbecue, family reunion, going to the park, amen, and people are coming. Uh, so you want to make sure that. The house is ready. The backyard mm -hmm. is ready. You got the napkins, the plate, the peppers. You got everything. Oh, the, the food, of course, the main uh, mm -hmm. entree, the mm -hmm. side dishes. And, of course, you want to have water, and you want to make sure that, you know, maybe Aunt Minnie, she likes Sprite, but Uncle John, he prefers yeah. uh, uh, a good old Coca-Cola, whatever. <laughs> you prepare because right. you want to, and, 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 and maybe your uh, mm -hmm. uh Great aunt, uh -huh. she she makes the best potato salad. Right, right. So you everybody involved has a responsibility. They have part of the, because they're going to be a partaker. Amen. Even the children, you may send the children to the store to just get some desserts, some cookies, or whatever. Uh, but we are family. Amen. We're uh, the family uh, of God. Uh, and so God, not only is going to prepare yeah, us, God, amen, God. he wants our family. So you want to make sure your brothers and sisters, your aunties, your uncles, your grandparents, your, your nieces, your nephews, all of you, your spouses, you want to make sure that all of your family, amen, is prepared to be in that ark of safety because the Lord is soon to come. And so what does it say about that, that supper? Okay, here we go. King James says in 19, 6 through 9. Mm -hmm. And I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude, and as a voice of many waters, yes. and as a voice of mighty thunderings, saying, Alleluia, Alleluia. for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, and yes, his yes. Wife, his wife hath made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, yes. clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. And he saith unto me, Right, right. blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. Hallelujah. RSVP. And he saith unto <laughs> me, These are the true sayings of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Right, God is sending your RSVP Hallelujah. through the blood of the Lamb. Yeah, God. It's the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood yes. that was shed. Yes, Lord. Amen. Mm. On the cross of Calvary for your sins and mine. Yes. Amen. Yes, 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 Which yes. gave us interest and access to the throne Ooh, of God Rabbi and to Shaka. the Father. Rabbi. Amen. It's sending Hallelujah. us that invitation mm -hmm. 
Get ready, saints. Get ready. Look what he said. And he said unto her, Right and unto me. John is recording this for us. The marriage supper of the Lamb. Yes. The marriage of the Lamb. And Hallelujah. amen. And the thing Hallelujah. that is going to be is so glorious Hallelujah. when our groom, Jesus. our Lord, our Savior, we're his bride. Hallelujah. 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 And he's waiting Hallelujah. on his bride to get ourselves together. He's coming back Hallelujah. without spot, wrinkle, or blemish, saints, or any such thing. And so what did you want to read that in? I'm going to read this in the complete Jewish Bible. Okay. Hallelujah. He right. says in the 6 through 9, he says, And I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, yes. and as the voice of mighty thunderings, saying, Hallelujah, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Hallelujah. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the, of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. And he saith unto me, Right blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And so what is God? Ooh, what is the righteousness? What is that linen for? Yeah, well, you God. know, yeah, our God. culture has adopted mm -hmm. that. So most, mostly every time a woman gets married, she gets married. Most of the first time she gets married in pretty much white, white. Mm -hmm. But then if she gets married, her husband died or something happens she mm -hmm. gets married again mm -hmm. amen and she's saved she'll get married in the ivory yeah amen yes. but look what it Ooh, said the merit but when we get married to the lord God. we'll be married Ooh, yeah. in sparkly white 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 linen glistening which is for the right the <laughs> righteousness I remember, of the saints mm -hmm. i'm sorry Daddy Dixon. go ahead go i ahead. remember when you had all the ministers in your church getting ordained and, and, and you had us all the women to wear these white Yes, I forget what the material was. Was it white glistening material? Can you it, was, it was some kind of beautiful. chiffon or some kind of material. Yeah. Oh, it was glorious. It was just whew, like a marriage day with the Lord. It was glorious. And so we, <laughs> we have these dress rehearsals down yes, here. Yes, Because yes. marriage is God's idea. Oh, yeah. But guess what? Just like he tells yes, uh, the husband to love his wife mm -hmm. and the wife to esteem her husband in, in mm -hmm. Ephesians, the fifth chapter, yes. so are we to love our God, our yes. Lord and Savior, and submit oh, ourselves to Him, and allow His righteousness to not only rule and reign in our hearts, oh, yeah. but to be clothed, you know be clothed in it. I really didn't. I really didn't read that in the Jewish Bible. Can I read it? I, okay. I hit the search Bible link, okay. link after I do that. I'm sorry. Okay. It says, "Then I heard what sounded like a roar of a huge crowd, like the sound of rushing waters, like per, like like pills." of thunder saying hallelujah uh -huh. adonai god adonai. of heaven armies has begun his reign let us rejoice and be glad let us give him glory for the time has come for the wedding of the lamb and his bride has prepared herself fine linen bright and clean has been given to her to wear fine linen means the righteous the righteous deeds of god's people yes the angel said to me right Holy, blessed are those who have been invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Amen. Then he, then he added, these are God's very words. Amen. <laughs> preparation, <laughs> preparation. Hallelujah. Amen. And Hallelujah. what I understand is that uh, Jewish weddings last uh, seven days. Yes. Amen. Yes, yes. And he doesn't know, she doesn't know when he's going to come. Uh, but after he know. got the house ready, is that right? Yes. After yes. he worked on the house, Hallelujah. then he gets ready to go get his bride. Hallelujah. And she he don't know if know. it's going to be midnight <laughs> or first thing in the morning Glory. or midday. Hallelujah. But Hallelujah. she always Hallelujah. is ready. Always so ready. God Hallelujah. is saying to Hallelujah. us, saints, Hallelujah. prepare yourself. Yes. Let yes. wisdom yes. lead and guide you. Yes. And even before he comes back for us, let's make sure our household is prepared. Yes. Make sure because yes. we're living in very... A oh, curious time, a peculiar time, and yes, perilous Jesus. times. Yes. We need to understand that things can happen in a moment. Yes, Lord. We don't know. Of an eye. But, you know, a wise mm -hmm. woman builds her house. Yes. yes amen. Yes, yes. She builds her house. She Hallelujah. prepares for. Hallelujah. Amen. Even that virtuous woman, she prepared. Mm -hmm. Amen. Food and clothing. Yes, yes. What, I'm, what am I saying? Hallelujah. I'm saying, Hallelujah. amen. Wisdom, mm -hmm. the wisdom of preparation. Yes. Make yes, sure. God. That, oh, amen, if 
Lord. the Lord delay is coming mm -hmm. that you'll be able to survive yes. and thrive. Yes, Lord. That amen, your cupboards will be filled. And I'm not saying, you know, hoard anything. That's mm -hmm. not what I'm saying. Yes. But I'm simply saying, be well stocked. Yes, amen. Lord. Yes, Lord. Uh, make sure that your family has enough. Make sure you keep enough cash on hand. Amen. Make sure you have amen. a savings account. Mm -hmm. Why am I saying this? Because the Lord keeps war warning me in the mm -hmm. spirit mm -hmm. and urging me. Make yes. sure you tell my people to stay ready, amen. get ready, and be ready. I remember, Daddy Dixon, you told us so many years ago that mm -hmm. welfare was going to be cut off. Mm -hmm. They cut it off. We saw the floors of the Boston, the old Boston, Boston store, store. I saw carpet it, being rolled I saw up. I rolled up six years before it happened. And all the stores were empty. The shelves yeah. were empty. And here we are. Yeah. And so we're living now in those times, saints. Yes, so yes, right yes. now during inflationary times, we definitely want to make sure that we mm -hmm. keep things uh, where we can provide yes, God. for yes, God. the security of our family. Mm -hmm. We know that God is going to protect us. Yes, our God shall God. supply all of our needs according need. to his riches and glory. Yes, but God. use wisdom. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Whatever you do, yes, do it God. wisely. Wise. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Amen. Shop wisely. wisely. Amen. Save wisely. wisely. Amen. Amen. Keep serving your Lord mm -hmm. wisely wise. and redeem the time yes. because the Bible said when you redeem the time mm -hmm. you're a wise person yes. so wisdom, the wisdom of preparation, Hallelujah. stay in your word yes. stay prayerful yes. amen, give God some time in consecration mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but most of all know that God has his eyes on you amen. and he's going to bring you through Thank you, let's Lord. pray amen. almighty and eternal God we bless your righteousness bless, bless you now for who is a God like unto thee mm -hmm. For you're clothed with glory and majesty, dominion and power and yes, might. Yes, and as God. we come before your presence with thanksgiving, mm -hmm. we enter to your court with praise. We recognize that you are God, mm -hmm. and you are God all by yourself. Yes, yes, you are Jehovah Roy, the Lord, our shepherd. Hallelujah. You are Jehovah Jireh, our Hallelujah. provider. You are Jehovah Rapha, our yes, healer. Lord. Yes, you are our El Elyon, yes, the most are. high God. Yes, you and you are the almighty El Shaddai. Hallelujah. You are the God that's more than enough. No more than enough and so we God. worship you Hallelujah. and we thank you Hallelujah. that you're going to watch over our family yes, Father. and let God even as you, uh, you prepared the ark yes, Father. for Noah thank you, Jesus. you prepared the city yes, Lord. for Abraham yes, Lord. you're preparing a place yes, God. for us thank you, God. and we give you glory, give you all the glory in Lord. Jesus name yes, just name. an announcement saints it's time those of you who have been really thinking about getting your degree some of you started and you said, well, I'm going to come back and get my bachelor's, my master's, mm -hmm. or your doctoral degree. Mm -hmm. Enrollment is now open. So, yeah. Dr. Knox, will you tell them how to contact Call with us? Call 414-873-9641. You can also go online to drjmdixon2000 at gmail.com. And you can also go to her website email, drjmdixon2000 at agapilovebiblecollege.com. Amen. And the cell phone? 414-204-4951. So if you've been thinking about it, this is a good time because you know classes will be starting. Mm -hmm. uh, but enrollment begins in August. Classes uh, start in September, mm -hmm. uh, the first uh, Saturday or second Thank Saturday in God. September. Mm -hmm. But we want you to be ready. Thank you, Amen. Father. And I'm telling you, we salute the graduates. Amen. Amen. Of the class of 21, Hallelujah. 22. Hallelujah. Amen. And thank God for all of you who have finished the course. Amen. Hallelujah. And getting ready yes, to go into yes, another God. level in the things mm -hmm. of God. Amen. Also, just wanted to let you know, amen, that uh, August the 14th uh, at Rock Hill Community Baptist Church, 100 Women in Red, Clean the blood of Jesus. I want to invite you to come. Hey, I'm the keynote speaker, moi, and I want you to join me. We always have a wonderful time. We thank God for our pastor, uh, uh, Morgan, and his precious wife. She did such a wonderful job at our health and nutrition mm -hmm. seminar. Everybody enjoyed her so very yes, much. Lord, Amen. Yes, I thank yes. God for Sister Morgan and Pastor Morgan. So be with us. The address is 1200 West on Burline. Amen. Amen. So uh, make a note of that. You got our phone number. You got our uh, contact information. But remember this. Amen. Saints of God. Be prepared. Walk in wisdom. Observe the time that we're living in. But always remember the joy of the Lord is your strength until we meet again. God bless.